Hadith number 38 Abba narrates from Sulaim. Sulaim said, I heard Salman, Abu Zar and Migdad saying, We were sitting with the Holy Prophet wasallam, and there was no one else with us. Three people from Muhajirin came and they were all from Badr. The Holy Prophet said, Very soon my Ummah will be divided into three sects after me. One sect will be of truth in which there will not be even a speck of falsehood. Their example is like red gold. The more you heat it, the more its quality and goodness increases. Their leader will be one of these three. The second one will be of people of falsehood in which there will not be any truth at all. Their example is like the rust of iron. The more it is melted, the worse will its quality and smell become. Their leader will be one of these. The third sect will be that of deviation, neither here nor there. Their leader will be from one of these. So I asked them, who were these three? They said, the leader of truth and guidance is Ali ibn Abi Talib. Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqas is the leader of those deviated ones who are neither here nor there. Then I wanted them to tell me the name of the third one. They refused and gave me hints until I understood what they meant. I told Ali salam when he was in Kufa, the saying of the Holy Prophet wasallam that Salman Abu Zar and Maghdad had told me when they saw three men from Muhajirin who were from people of Badr, were Quraysh and were seen coming. The Holy Prophet وسلم, had said, After me my Ummah will be divided into three. So them three said his name and Sa'ad and did not say the name of the third one, only hinted until I knew whom they meant. So alayhi salam said, O Sulaim, do not be sad because the hearts of the people of this Ummah have been fed with their love, just like the Bani Israel's heart had been fed with the love of the calf. O oh, Sulaim, do you doubt about what that person is? I said no, but I want you to tell me his name, and I hear his name from you, so that my belief becomes firm. He replied, he is Atik. This matter which Allah has informed you and obliged you with is clearer than gold and silver. There are very few people who know it, and thank him specially, he has chosen you for this. This is his shukr. Be sure that Allah Ta'ala gives dunya to all, good or bad. This matter in which you are, Allah gives that to his special human being from his creation. Nobody knows our matters except three from the creation. An angel who is very near to Allah, or such a prophet who has been made a messenger, or such a person whose heart Allah has filled with faith. O Salim, the foundation of this matter is on the fear of God, because our wilayat cannot be achieved until a person has fear of God.